Hello everybody and welcome to the assembly for the 23rd of November 2020. You know who I am, Mr. Kerbal, your head teacher, and you know what we are all about at Grange. We have our CC way, which is all about a great caring attitude, really, really trying our best, always learning, even from our mistakes. We are always going for improvement and progress. We use our education, our time in school to help us to learn to make excellent and good choices as we go along in life and we never give up and there we are that's what we are about at Grange. So we talk always at Grange about what is true strength how can we become stronger so we can really really do well and live a great life. So we know there's physical strength and we know there's character strength so physical strength well that's like the strength in your body it can help you to overcome physical challenges or win physical battles but the character strength that's the strength inside you your character that's the best of you that can help you to overcome any challenge and it can help you solve any problem and it can help you win any battle in the end. That is character strength, true strength, the kind of strength we are all about at Grange Primary School. And we believe that with character strength, it really helps you to solve problems. And you can grow your character strength. You can exercise your character strength. Just like you can do exercise and make your body stronger, you can do exercise on your character strength and make your character strength stronger. So, whenever you're faced with a problem, you ask yourself the question, which character strength am I going to use to help me solve this problem? And that's what we are learning about in these assemblies, and that's what we are all about at Grange. So, um, last week I spoke about parent character strengths but I'm going to change that and develop that a little bit and I'm going to say there are things called virtues now virtue means a good thing and a good person is a virtuous person so the virtues are the big broad groups of character strengths and these are called virtues and each of these virtues has more specific and detailed strengths so let's try and understand that because we have learned about a few virtues so far and we've learned about a few character strengths which fit into those virtues and by the time we're finished we will have learned about six virtues and 24 character strengths all in all but so far we've learned about the virtue of wisdom and the virtue of wisdom has more specific character strengths inside it and the two that we've learned about so far, there are more, we'll learn about them, don't worry. We have learned about love of learning, which means like you really, really work on loving your learning, making the most of your time when you have an opportunity to learn, like when you're sitting in a class and you really listen, you are using the character strength of love of learning. And then also we learned about the the character strength of curiosity, which is as you're learning, if something comes up and you're just interested to find out more about it, or if you hear about something and you just want to find out more about it and you do a bit of research, that is the character strength of curiosity. We have learned about the virtue of courage, and so far we've learned one character strength in courage, and that is bravery. Like when you don't allow your fear to stop you from having a go. So when you are, are asked in a task to have a go, you don't say, oh, what if I get it wrong? Or you get shy or you get worried about failure. You are brave and you go for it and you participate and you, you have a go at your task. That is the character strength of bravery. And then last week we learned about the virtue of transcendence and we broke that word down into two. We said trans was to cross to another level, to cross over and send is to climb. So it was like climbing higher to another level. That's the virtue of transcendence and the particular character strength that we learned about in transcendence is gratitude because when you practice gratitude, when you use gratitude, you go to a higher level. And this, so here's the revision. 
So there's virtues, there's character strengths, and so far we've learned the virtue of wisdom and the specific character strengths of love of learning and curiosity. We've learned the virtue of courage and the specific character strength of bravery. We've learned the virtue of transcendence and the specific character strength of gratitude. Now, today we are introducing a character strength, a virtue, apologies, a virtue of temperance. Now, Temperance, you can see the word temper in there. And usually when we talk about somebody's temper, we could say they've got a, that we could say they have got a bad temper, means they get really angry, or they lose their temper and suddenly get really cross. Or we can even talk about somebody who's even tempered, means they're very good at staying in control and being balanced. And originally that's what the word temper mean. It meant it meant to have a sense of balance and evenness. So temperance, the virtue of temperance, is all about when you are balanced and in control. You're not losing it and you're not overexcited. You're just in the right balance. That's called temper, temperance. That's the virtue. And the particular character strength within the virtue of temperance that we're learning about today is called forgiveness. And I just want you to take a moment and look at this image that I found, which is really interesting. I found this in the clip art. And see what you can see. And while you're looking at it, remember this little figure who's got a problem. And remember, we said, use your character strengths to solve problems. So what problem does forgiveness solve? And what I want you to do is, while you think about what problem does forgiveness solve, you can go back to that. Um, you can go back to that image. Whoops! There we go. And just look at it. Maybe pause the video over here, and you can have a bit of a discussion. What do you see in that image of forgiveness? And how do you think you can use forgiveness to solve problems? Take a moment there. Right, we're back. And tell you what I can see. And remember, there's some for some questions, there's no right or wrong. It's just what each of us see. And then actually in discussing it, we can help ourselves to learn more. So I see lots of clouds and sometimes clouds. That means like storm, you know, heavy rain and thunder is coming. But I can see these clouds have opened up and there's blue sky, which is beautiful. And it makes me feel like there's going to be good weather. And it's in the shape of a heart. So it makes me feel that if you can forgive somebody, if you can use the character strength of forgiveness, then you can take away all the heavy clouds and heavy thunder of anger and, and upset and fighting. Forgiveness is a character strength that can solve the problem of really bad arguments and fighting and, and upset and people being angry with each other for a long, long time. So forgiveness is the character strength that can help people to really, really get on with each other. And that's a very powerful thing to know. That's a power, that's a strength, that if you decide, no, I'm not going to carry on being angry with this person. I'm not going to carry on being upset with this person. I'm actually going to help them to try and do better, especially if they want to do better, especially if people are trying to help them to do better. I'm going to rather forgive them and not carry on being angry with what they've done. And I'm going to say, maybe I can be part of helping them to succeed. So, you know, we always like to have some action so we can like really practice and exercise our character strength. Mm -hmm. So I thought of three powerful forgiveness actions. So one is start every day anew. That just means sometimes things are really bad and you've had an argument with somebody and things haven't gone so well. But each day you start the day and you just say, you know what, today is a new day. And that's kind of an action of forgiveness and it's a strength, and then, you know, you can be more happy and enjoy the day. Another one is, before we judge someone and say, oh, that's so stupid, that's so mean, that's so unfair, that's so um, selfish, maybe we can just try and understand, not even if we, not even, that doesn't mean that we say that what they did is right, but maybe we can just try and understand, maybe something upset them, 
maybe they were they didn't understand what was going on if we try and understand people and um, then we can forgive them then we can get on better and we all feel better and the other thing the the third action is we help our fellow Grange pupils to succeed and make progress if you say I really want to help people that in itself is like a really powerful forgiveness action. We know the Grange CC way. We want to be confident for ourselves. We want to be considerate for the whole world. We've got a philosophy at Grange for our whole lives. So Grange forever, you can remember that philosophy, even when you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and even if you're blessed to get to 100. We've got CC lining up, which helps us to get ready for things. We've got CC walking with our hands on our hearts, considerate for others learning. We've got CC learning where we try our best and we're not scared. When we make a mistake, we just learn from that. We listen really well. We have a go. And here are the people who are stars of the week. So here are the goals. Wow, well done, Dylan. Well done, Millie. Yusuf A, fantastic to see you there, and Bathanan, brilliant, well done Gold Stars, Grange House of Water, 2,827 points, look at all these people doing brilliantly, Dennis, Khalifa, Lesia, Reese, Daniel, Kenneth, Sophia, Sadia, and Zayn, well done House of Water, House of Fire, 2,453 points, look at all these people, Ruhama, fantastic to see you, Daris, Mustakim, that is great. Enea, Hanin, Dahlia, fantastic. Kahan, Alma, Bathanan, Sophia G, brilliant. And Nikki, well done, Grange House of Fire, Grange pupils. Grange House of Air, 2,396 points. And look who's here, Millie, Eamon, Malaika, Saja, Shreyas, Dylan, Kaylin, and Ubaid with 45 points. Well done, Ubaid, brilliant work. And here's the Grange House of Earth, 2,812 points. And look who's here, Nerissa, brilliant. Nysa, Rokia, fantastic. Sawain, Justina, Satian, and Izan on a fantastic 40 points. Brilliant. So our whole Grange community this last week got 10,488 points, which is brilliant. And who were my classy classes? Well, Rumi class got 304 points. John Lennon class, 339 Malala class was 347, but my classy class of last week, well done Picasso class, you were brilliant with 558 points. So in autumn one, we got 47,561 points. So we set ourselves a, a half-term target of 50,000 points. And so far, we've got 32,054 points. We got to get quite a few more before Christmas. Freddie came to visit us last half term as our award for doing so well with our class charts and CC way. This half term, we are working towards our 50,000 points so we can bring real reindeer for Christmas to Grange. I'm looking so forward to that. So be great, be Grange, everybody. Live your lives with confidence and consideration. Enjoy the week ahead. Be safe and happy. Let's learn together, let's respect each other, let's achieve our potential, let's be great, let's be Grange.